Our today's topic is properties involving operation on sets. We have uh, already discussed the four operations on sets that are union, intersection, difference and complement. Th these are the operations that we have discussed. Now we will see what are the properties these operations hold. Okay, we will discuss them one by one. First of all, we will see the union and the properties of union and intersection. First property of the operation of sets of union and intersection is the commutative property. We will see the commutative property of union and intersection side by side. Commutative property states that order of sets in which we do operations does not change the results. It means that in whatever the order is, if we apply the operation of union and intersection on it, then the result will not change. How? Let's see. For example, we have two sets A and B. Then A union B is equals to B union A. This is the commutative property of union of sets. And for intersection, it is A intersection B is equals to B intersection A. It means that the order of operation doesn't matter whether we put the A first, set A first or the set B first. Let's see its proof how it is possible. Let's have the uh, sets union A union B is equals to A union B will be the set of all the elements and uh, avoiding the uh, and avoiding the uh, redundant elements will be 1, 2, 3 and 4 and B union A will be again 1, 2, 3 and 4. It means A union B is equals to B union A. It means order doesn't matter whether you put A first or B first. Now we will see the proof of A intersection. B is equal to B intersection C. Let's have a uh, let's have an example. A same example. A intersection B is equals to the same ele common element is three. Okay. B intersection A is equal to again the common element is three. Now it is clear from here that A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. That means that the order doesn't matter in while um, uh, in the uh, according to the commutative property. Whether we put A first, A the set A first or the set B first. Now the second property is the associative property. Again we will apply this property on union and intersection. Okay. We have union here and intersection here. According to the associative property, it doesn't matter how the sets are grouped as the result will not change. It is, it, the, it is stated as A union B union C. If we have three sets A, B and C, then... A union B union C. It means if we find the uh, union of B and C, uh, uh, if we find the union of B and C or we find the union of A and B, it doesn't matter that, uh, that how we are grouping the sets. It means that the grouping doesn't matter according to the associative property. Okay, the interse uh, same is the case in intersection A intersection B intersection C is goes to A intersection B intersection C. Okay. Let's have the proof. A quick proof uh, for your convenience. We will find one by one. Let's have the two uh, Let's have three sets A, B and C as we will take the small sets as okay. Then we will find the uh, union as first we will find B union C 3 and 4. Then A then we will find A union B union C 1. Uh, uh, now we will find the union of which sets? this set and this set. So their union will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, this is A union, B union, C. Now if we change their grouping, if we change their grouping as A union, B will be fine first. A union, B will be, we have A and B as 1, 2, 3, 4, then 1, 2, 3, 4 and A union, B Union C will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now it is clear from here that the two results are same. This one and the, this and this one. So hence proved that A it doesn't matter whether we are grouping B and C together or we are grouping A and B together. Okay. So this is the this is this was all about associative property with respect to union. Now for intersection, let's find its proof. For example, we have the sets. We will uh, find uh, according to the above mentioned group one by one. 
First we find the intersection C. The intersection C is equals to. Is there any element in common in B and C? No. So it is an empty set. Then we will find A intersection B intersection C. We will find the intersection of this group with A. Now is there any uh, common element in A and B intersection C? No. So it will be an empty set. Now we will move towards the uh, second group uh, that is on uh, the, uh, the um, uh, right hand side. We will see right hand side will group A intersection B together to find is there any common element A and B? Yes. 3. 3 is the common element A and, a and B. Now we will find the intersection of this group with C. A intersection B intersection C. Is there any common element of A of A intersection B with the set C? No. So it is an empty set. So it is clear from here that this and this is the same. So that means A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C. That that uh, that means that uh, means uh, it doesn't matter how the sets are grouped together as the result will remain the same. Okay. The next property with respect to union intersection is the identity property. Okay. The, for identity property of uh, for union uh, for union it is uh, you should keep in mind that em empty set is the identity element. Then the property will be a union phi is equals to a. It means whenever you find the uh, whenever you find the union of any set with the phi that is the identity element of union you will get the same set. How? Let's have a um, proof. Like let's have a set A and uh, the other set is phi. Obviously, then we find the union A union phi is equals to 1, 2, 3 union phi. Then the result will be 1, 2, 3. And 1, 2, 3 is what? 1, 2, 3 is the set itself. It means this and this are the same. That predicts that a union phi is equals to A. It means whenever you find the union of any set with the identity element that is phi, then the result will be the same set. Okay. For also for intersection, what is the identity element for intersection? Universal set. Universal set acts as identity element for intersection. So, uh, uh, what will be the st uh, statement of uh, identity property? Uh, it will be A intersection universal set it will be equals to in, it will be equals to a the set itself how let's have a proof this proof is we have a set a is equals to 1 2 3 and another set is the universal set universal set will be 1 2 3 4 5 as the universal uh, uh, set uh, 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 contains all the elements under consideration. So that's why we have taken the universal set as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and A should be the, the, the set that is the subset of un universal set. So we will apply the property here as A intersection A intersection with the universal set will be we will have to find the, uh, the common element. Common element are 1, 2 and 3 and 1, 2, 3 and, uh, one, two and 3 are the same as the set. So we have Prove that A intersection union will be the itself. It's uh, will be the set itself. So this is the um, identity property of the uh, um, property with respect to union and intersection, where the identity element of union is the phi, and the identity element of intersection is universal set. Okay. Now we will see what are what are the property of difference of sets. Okay. According to the, uh, the one of the property of difference of sets is a minus b is not equal to b minus a. Now let's let's see how we, we have to check the proof. If we have the two element two sets as a is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and b is equals to 4, 5, 6. Okay. Then a minus b will be all the elements of a, uh, all the elements the, uh, the uh, uh, a minus b should contain all the elements except the elements of b. So we'll write one, two, and three. Okay. Then b minus a will be. We will write b first. Four, five, and six minus a will be on the second. Three, four, five. Then we have to remove all the elements that are in the set a. 
so the answer is six uh, here, 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 here the order matters but in unit intersection the order does not matter so a minus b does not equal to b minus a it is proved here and proved this is one of the property of difference of sets now we will see the property of complement of a set the last operation that we have discussed is complement we have already discussed the uh, uh, the uh, the complement in detail in our previous lectures let's see what are the properties one property is a complement union a is equals to universal set a complement union uh, a equals to union uh, is equals to universal set another property is if we take the complement of phi it will be uni universal set another property it has four properties okay another property is if we take a intersection a complement it will give you with phi another one is if you take the complement of a universal set itself it will give you phi okay now let's see uh, let's prove them one by one first we will we will we'll, uh, number them like this we will uh, first we will prove property number 1 that is a complement union a is equals to u universal set we have two sets a is equals to a b c d and u is equals to a b c d e f okay then a complement will be u minus a okay. u is a b c d e f minus a is a b c and d then a complement will be you have to subtract all the elements of, of a so we have e and f okay then a complement union a will be you have to find the union with the a a is a b c d and a complement is e f then a complement union a is a b c d e and f and it, this shows that this result is exactly the same as the universal set it means the property a complement union a equals to universal set has been proved okay now we will see the second property a intersection okay we have a set a is equals to and u is equals to okay a complement will be u minus a is equals to one uh, u minus a will be uh, we have to uh, uh, subtract all the elements of a that is 1 2 3 4 has been subtracted and 5 and 6 left then a intersection a complement will be then intersection will uh, what are the common elements there is no common element it means it's a empty set a intersection a complement is equals to empty set hence proved second property has also been proved third property is phi uh, third property is phi complement is equals to u we, uh, we will take the uh, same example we will find phi complement as u minus phi u is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 minus empty set so phi complement is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and it is the same and it is the same as this universal set it means it is equals to universal set hence phi complement is equals to universal set has been proved last property is u complement is equals to phi let's have a, a set as u is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 5 and u complement will be u minus u and it is clear that 1 2 3 4 5 minus 1 2 3 4 5 and u complement is equals to empty set so it has also been proved that u complement is equals to phi hence proof so all the all the properties has been proved so all the, uh, has been proved uh, of all the three uh, four sets of operation that we have discussed hope so uh, this lecture has helped you a lot for any, uh, for any kind of queries you may comment in the uh, um, you may comment in the uh, comment section thank you